Hey everybody, it's Marco from Analog Things, and today I want to show you how you get from an image like this to something like this, a transparency. And actually, with Instax. So, let's jump into it. So a lot of you guys watched the video of transparencies with Polaroid originals and there were a ton of questions in the comments below if it's possible with Instax. I always answered I don't know yet, I know and like, yeah, it's like one of the most commented things. It's like, and every, it's repeating, repeating, repeating every week at least a few times. Is it possible to do a transparency with Instax? And till the day I always said no, I haven't found a way. I used bleach, I used alcohol, I used different chemistries. I use stuff that I don't want to breathe in. Um, I use different timings and everything, but I couldn't manage to do a transparency. That Fuji film is really strange. It has a lot of layers and you wash one off, you rip one off, you destroy one, you get nothing. And so it was kind of a failure and failure and failure. And I spent a ton of film just like trying to get that layer off. But at some point I started thinking, when does the transparency with both originals work best? That's actually at the point the film is developed and then you have a few seconds where the chemistry is drying. Or with both originals you have a few minutes where you actually have the time to separate the film and have a clean transparency without any help of anything else. So I was actually like in the bathroom trying to use the bleach again and try to, to clean it off and I couldn't manage to do it so I was like okay let's take a new picture and let's see if, uh, if, it, if I start early with the process, I can get rid of that one sticky layer. There's one layer in the back that's always kind of creeped me out. So yeah, I didn't get that off, but then I just used water. I tried water, just rinsing it off and then, yeah, didn't do a lot at the beginning. I was like, yeah, hmm, okay. There's some black paste coming off, but there, there's this layer, I didn't get it off. And then I took one image and immediately after it like, even like even before it started finishing um, developing, I put it under water. I separated the layers. It's kind of similar to the Polaroid originals. What I prefer now is actually to cut around the edge. So if you have that Instax frame, I prefer now to actually cut around the frame, leave about one millimeter uh, of frame around the image, then put it on a glass, mirror, some, some smooth surface where you can actually put it on. After that you put it on, start rinsing it with water. I used pretty hot water, like 50 degrees plus. My tap water comes out like at 55 degrees, so I use that. Just put it under the tap and let it rinse. And when you start rinsing it, there's a lot of black color coming off. So I don't know what's in the Fujifilm. I always recommend getting gloves. Wear gloves if you do stuff like that. Um, they can save your health and yeah, prevent something bad happening. So I used gloves, I used really hot water, which I saw my hands would burn off, but I saw something, it changed. So I cleaned off the first layer, then there's a second layer. The second layer is kind of strange. So you, you, you see the image, it looks like the negative, and then you need a, a cotton sponge or something like really soft and start ro like rubbing it over that surface. If you have a really contrasty image, you would start getting black spots there. First layer will come off easily and then you will see some, some black spots. But we need to get rid of that too. We need to get to that white milky layer. So what I do is just like use a circular motion to slowly clean the back. Work your way slowly with some pressure and just circle, 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 circle all the time around the negative. And you will slowly get to that white layer. Watch out at the edges that you don't brush the white off because then you actually brush off film or the, the, the image you have. You can see that on this image here, I was brushing really hard. You can see at that corner here, I actually brushed off the image. But otherwise, that one turned out pretty awesome. So slowly work your way to that white layer. And when you're at that white layer, you will already see the white coming off and that's actually developing paste. So you need to clean off the whole white of the frame. I work my way from the inside out so I don't scratch it off the edges. And then you have a transparency. It's easy as that. Yes, you will have some scratches, but I used nothing than water, like hot water and a cotton sponge. And that's everything. Like just cotton cleaning softly that image and you get a transparency with Instax. But the main part is it's time sensitive. You can't do that at any time. You need to be like at the point where it's developing and I like, I normally start before it's finished developing. Maybe that's why I get a little bit of magenta shift in that images. If I put some white below, you will see there's some magenta shift in that image. I don't know if that's from the hot water I used or from something else. So let's jump over the points real quick. Timing, 
is really important. You need to be super on time. It's uh, like one or two minutes after the image is developed, you need to be in the bathroom doing that process. That's why I love using the Mint RF70 because I can decide when the image comes out of the camera and I normally shoot it, go to the bathroom, pull it out and then put it in the sink. Second one, you need time. You need to rub it, rub it, rub it. It takes some time, like a few minutes to, to rub it off. Don't rush it, just like take your time and clean it off slowly. Rinse it in between, you don't need to have the water running all the time, but just give it a hot rinse in between and then continue with circular motion cleaning it off. Third of all, just let it dry. Till now, I haven't found any problems letting it dry just like this. That's it. I haven't really found a way to separate the layers pretty good, so uh, I recommend the cutting and then peeling it off the back layer. But if you find a better solution, please write them in the comments below. So this is my input. That's the first try. I haven't done a lot. I have just did 10 or something like that. So every input that you have, everything you try and figure out, please share them in the comments below. I will do a future video like getting future knowledge uh, on that topic. But for now, if you want to do future Fuji Instax, you actually can do that. It's not impossible anymore, but it's, it's possible. Grab your Fuji camera, grab some hot water and rinse your Instax shots to get transparencies. And you can do crazy stuff like layering colors below it, like stuff like that, you know? Just put everything below it you have, neon colors, gold colors. <coughs> Feel free to stack images actually. I mean, these are not perfect for stacking, but everything is possible with these new techniques. Instax is cheaper, so you can experiment a little bit more. And yeah, feel free to share your results with me on Instagram or come into our Discord. It should be linked below. And if the link doesn't work, please write me because uh, it doesn't work sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And hope to see you next time. Bye.